You span the bottle, then quickly took your seat again with a frown. Your hopes for this game were not high. Your classmates were unbelievably hot. There were no two ways about it. It amazed you that they were trying to be superheroes and not models. But you could wholeheartedly say that you were only romantically interested in a single one of your classmates. The chances of the bottle landing on him were slim to none. Try as you had to get out of playing spin the bottle, Ashido had insisted. So here you were, wedged between Ojiro and Tokoyami, waiting for the bottle to stop. You never know, Tokoyami muttered into your ear, catching the pout on your face. The bottle might still land on Sato. Shush, you hissed, hoping no one else had heard the bird outing you. Tokoyami was a close friend of yours and knew all too well about your crush on the sweets hero Sato. It didn't help that he was also very good friends with Sato, but you trusted the bird boy enough to keep your secret from him. Sato went unnoticed by most of your classmates, in a romantic sense, at least. But honestly, good, you thought. You didn't want them to realise what they were missing out on. You and Sato belonged to the same circle of friends, so you had gotten to know him in ways no one else could. He was kind, so kind, like a teddy bear with a great ear for listening and a never-ending supply of sugary treats. He was always the first to suggest hanging out or going on group adventures. And on more than one occasion, it was Sato who had noticed you feeling down cancelling his plans to sit with you so you could talk about it well into the night. Tokoyami chuckled in a deep voice, his smile lifting the very corners of his beak while you insisted that he hush. But then, when the bottle stopped, he made a single noise. Aw. Oh. You were too busy staring Tokoyami into silence to understand what had happened at first. But when the smile on Tokoyami's face grew, you looked at the bottle, then realised it had stopped. You looked to where it was pointing. You started grinning. You couldn't stop yourself. Of all your classmates it could have landed on, the bottle had landed on Sato. Your gazes connected across the circle as the room started cheering. Whether your classmates knew of your crush or not, the bond you had with him was indisputable. He got to his feet. Your heart fluttered. Tokuyami and Ojiro gave you a push to help you up. And then, Sato opened his arms to you. Your classmates' cheers got louder, and by the smile on Sato's face, you realised he was just as happy that the bottle had landed on him as you were. Good to go? He asked, his broad arms already poised to embrace you. You bet! You all but screeched, pushing off on your good foot. If there was anyone in the room you were confident would catch you, it was the wonderful, kind, supportive strongman Sato and you closed your eyes to make the point. He stumbled. He had to admit he wasn't quite expecting you to fling yourself at full force, but once he knew you were doing this with your full heart, he didn't need to worry that he wasn't strong enough without a sugar rush. He could catch you on feelings alone. Thank you for not dropping me, you beautiful bastard. You gushed when he caught you around the waist and hoisted you up letting you wrap your arms around his neck. You're absolutely welcome. He chuckled, loving the gleeful look in your eyes once you opened them again. You couldn't get over the expression on his face. That smile, that beautiful smile. You leaned in and kissed him as soon as he pulled you close. Despite their usually calm demeanour, Tokoyami and Ojiro led the cheer for the two of you. As Sato twirled you around in his arms as your lips stayed planted together, the room collectively congratulated you on a union such a long time coming. 
You broke apart, and Sato rested his head to yours, hugging you close as your toes failed to touch the ground. Should I take this eagerness as a good sign? He asked, tilting his head as you laughed. No, I'd do the exact same thing if Kaminari opened his arms to me, you said drolly. But Sato knew you well enough to hear the heavy notes of sarcasm. But just to be on the safe side, you planted your lips against his again, squeezing him close. He set you on the ground once you were done, catching the looks of delight on Ojiro's face at the two of you finally close enough confessing. Then, Sato asked you if you wanted to carry on playing. He wondered if there was anyone else you wanted to kiss. You knew he was joking, and lightly batted him on the arm to tell him he was being a douche. Then you grabbed him by the front of his shirt and pulled him down to your level, crashing your lips against his. When you were done, you told him and the rest of the room that you were finished playing, and Sato decided it was the right time to sweep you into his arms, announcing that both of you were retiring for the night, and your friends couldn't be happier.